Okay, so now we need to marry the two scripts together. Okay, so we have uh, two scripts, control script and widget script. Okay, so control script, it's got a button, and the first button's go. So what do I need that to look like? Well, if I press go, um, it's going to pass a variable. And the, the, that variable is going to be trigger go. Okay, So think in ones and zeros. Make it kiss. Keep it simple, stupid, right? Trigger go equals one. So anytime uh, it passes the variable one, it goes. Now, also, just as something I like to do, I like to go print, trigger, go. And why I like doing that is it allows me to, at an early stage of development, see if something is not functioning quite well. So if I hit save on this and hit play, if I hit go, down here in the corner, it should say one. Okay, so that's all I. Do. That's why I do it. Now, in argument of that, uh, let's go into the other one and say, well, if the other one gets pushed, what's going to happen? I'm going to copy this over and put it between my brackets. Remember, that's very important to put stuff in between brackets. So this bracket is my opening and closing. So trigger go equals zero. Okay. File save. And of course, if I hit play, yes, by hitting this one, I get one. And this one, I get zero. Ones and zeros. Okay, now on my other script, let's see my widget script. Okay, this is how it's going to go for my widget script. Anytime that it sees a one, I want it to go. So by default, anytime it doesn't see a one, it will stop. So if, okay, it are, is it going to see a one or a zero? So I have to ask that question. If control. Script period trigger go is equal to, and I have to put two equal signs there because I want to make sure it sees a one. Okay, so that is absolutely it has to be one. That's why I had to put uh, two equal signs there. Okay, and then I'm going to encase this statement within my brackets. Just like that. All right, now count up your brackets. Opening, closing. Opening, closing. Good. All right, I'll save. And what's very important is this control script period trigger. This has to be named in coordinates with this naming convention here. Okay, let's try it out. Let's hit play. Let's go. Let's hit stop. Very, very simple stuff. Okay, but that gets you hooked into this stuff like mad because now you're asking the question, well, what about the slider? How do I make it so it rotates faster? You're probably also asking your question, uh, how do I get texture onto the model? Now, I don't have my textures ready for this model just yet, so now that I have this all done, I'm going to go looking through my archives to find a model that I do have uh, textures for and plop them in here and just put that script on them. Simple as that. And uh, that'll be in the next video.